You may have heard of me. I am the world's first consulting detective. This is my loyal assistant, Watson. That's not my name. Together, we fight crime and help Inspector Lestrade when he's out of his depth, which is always. Stop calling me that and stay out of my crime scenes. And me? You can call me Sherlock. No one calls you that. She says you owe him one. Say so he found an easy one for you. Really? Can I have one of the impossible ones? Like why evolution doesn't count for dragons? Too late. They gave that one to Jones. <laughs> His radio's so bad, no one will even notice if he doesn't crack it. Jones has been dead for five years. They embalmed him at his desk. And the union still won't let him get fired. Anyway, I thought you'd like the easy ones. There are no easy ones. Not since he showed up. He who? He him. What do you want? You, sir, just got handed a new case. A man was fished out of the ocean this morning. How do you know that? It says here that there was a lot of uh, internal hemorrhaging, like he was run over or something. How did you get this? You could get a suit. Oh, why not? Come on. Okay, look, I'll tell you how I didn't get it. I did not sneak into the coroner's office and steal it off his desk when he wasn't looking. Go. You know, that old man is surprisingly fast. Don't move. Hey, think I should go uh, interrogate his co-workers. Those flip-flops and Daisy Dukes, they must mean he was gonna get killed on the job. So what job was he doing? His address, it, it happens to be the mathematical equation for how neutrinos have mass. He has to be a physicist. Where are you and how are you doing this? Never mind. I've got a date. Top breeding ground in the world for political dictators, narcissistic sociopaths, hot reference librarians, little place I like to call State College. <sighs> Physics, the Parcheesi of mathematics. Oh, can I help you? Are you here to fumigate for the scorpions? No. Do you know this man? Uh, yeah, I think that's Saunders. Uh, he's the professor's old lab assistant. Uh, he left on a fellowship to teach kitchen appliance repair to destitute African farmers. Well, I'm sorry, but those people, they're gonna need to learn to thin for themselves. Saunders woke up dead this morning. Just like the other three assistants. You know, I, I'm starting to think this is an incredibly unlucky place to work. Luck? That's just a make-believe yellow brick fantasy for, for young children like, like Never Never Land or Sarajevo. You do, um, gravity research here, correct? Uh, well, yeah, but really, Professor Laxon does. On Langrangian points. He's made some real breakthroughs recently. <gasps> oh my gosh! I bet no one's told her about Saunders yet. I I'm sorry, I, I have to go find him. Unless I'm completely off base, which very rarely happens. He should be coming right through that door in about... Linda, who is this? What's going on? Uh, I'll ask the questions here. This is Mr. Uh, Mr. Doctor. Dr. John Chase. Your uh, lab assistant was just telling me about your uh, work here. Uh, your new lab assistant, I should say. That was tragic what happened to Jones. I, I told him going to a nitroglycerin fair was asking for trouble, but who listens to me? Actually, sir, I meant Saunders, but sounds like his predecessor didn't get off too well either, or the one before him, I take it? That was a tragic hammer factory accident. The Board of Regents, they've begun to suspect foul play. What is it you're after, Dr. Chase? To find out if these deaths have anything to do with your research. Oh, I don't see how that's possible. Old points are just points in space that are being acted upon by two gravity fields and thus holding it in place. What if there was a, a similar point in space where opposing gravity fields could, could put aside their personal differences for a little while and, and work together? All that harmony would be crushing. I see that your knowledge of cosmology is seriously lacking. Well, I'm just a little rusty. I'm out of season, they say. The folks at the Ronald McDonald Observatory, they say I'm more of a fall. More like a stumble. Well. 
Good luck with your investigation. I'm afraid I'm late for a speaking engagement. Don't reach out, sir. At least not without consulting my office or, or calling my pager. Good day. Could you tell me um, exactly what Saunders was working on before he left? Uh, just, just the usual. <laughs> Turning term papers into origami, sabotaging the weather control guy's linear accelerator. Oh, and keeping the Board of Regents under constant radar surveillance. <laughs> So basically just doing the professor's dirty work. You don't... you don't think the professor had something to do with those deaths? I don't have to think, Missy. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, that is so upsetting. You know, I... I, I came here for, to grad school just, just to get away from dangerous predators that would tear you apart just as soon as I look at you with their... I grew up in a petting zoo. You need not tell me, Missy, of the heinous things that dwell within the souls of those creatures that come from petting zoos. One altercation with a sheep with surprising leverage in the governor's office, and wow, I'm in Washington waiting to be questioned by Congress. That's actually uh, how I found my true calling. I was at the Lincoln Memorial. Just taking it all in, you know, absorbing the sights, plus that's where the Washington PD has no jurisdiction. I was sitting right at the feet of Honest Abe, just thinking about everything, and I was hoping that maybe he might rise up somehow. Take fall, rise up, and maybe crash the ball with his big concrete feet, but, you know, that's just my mind sometimes. The point is, I realized why I was having these crazy thoughts that maybe Perhaps I was in the exact same spot that, that, that Abe was in. That, that perhaps everything was in my own hand. That, that, that I had the power to change the laws of, of man and nature. It was all in my hands, do you understand? I should confront the professor. No, that's a stupid idea. If you do that, you'll be crushed. If there's one thing I've learned, Missy, it's this. Do not get in the way of a professor who's using badly written science fiction techniques. I mean. Plus, the FBI, big zero on the sense of humor scale. I gotta go. Jeez, Watson, I thought we were gonna synchronize our ringtones and they have the same song. Watson! I've got him, I've got him! His name is Professor Lagstone. He works at the university. No, listen to this man. He is using the earth to crush people. Kill them with the earth! Can you explain that? Well, actually, it's kind of complicated, and I don't think I can explain it in layman's terms for the If you bring him in, I'll make him sing. I'm still trying to find a rhyme for her. Watson, there's no need. He'll come to us. See? <laughs> That's my phone. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I gave him your number. Stop doing that. I still have a troop of mini luchadors trying to confess to helping some Bank of America executives cross illegally into Mexico. Why are you not taking this case seriously? These people, they're guilty. They're little, they're guilty. I guarantee it. Just look into it, please. Lestrade? Uh, yes, I know that. I see. Uh, could you uh, please get to the point? I'm a very busy man and I don't have time for tomfoolery. I see. Yes, yes, I'll have someone there. Thanks for your concern, citizen. I don't sound, <clears throat> I don't sound like that. Hey, um... He said that uh, he would be at the St. Regis Hotel at noon, and he'll bring the murderer to us. Right, right. Okay, all I'm gonna need from you, sir, is a uh, SWAT team. Full tactical setup. No one gets in or out without my say-so, okay? No. I'll send a police cruiser, and you've got 30 minutes to get him back. He needs to get back to the kids' toys for clean needles desk. Fine, that'll work. Good enough. Was that your uncle who got the Charlie horse on the slip and slide? What? Was that your uncle that got the Charlie horse on the slip and slide? Oh, uh, the fire hydrant has pee. In the shade, you mean? The fire hydrant has pee in the shade. Why can't you ever get these right? My God, how hard is it? Okay, that's where you're gonna go, right up there. Room 420. One, room 421. That's where you're gonna go, up there. You're gonna have my back, right? 
From up there, I'm only gonna have your top. Same difference. Code word. Code words are for outside rendezvous. How many times am I gonna tell you this? Are you ready? Yeah. Group hug? Let's go! doing here? I, I, I'm sorry, Professor. I just, I just had to know if all of your other assistants accidentally had their bones and organs crushed into paste. Ew. I was hoping I'd have more time before I had to show you the way the world really works. It's not all candy and ice cream. Sometimes it's licorice and those pop rocks thing that make your stomach explode. Sometimes it's crushing a man just to see if you can. But Think of all the loss of life. Plus, I can't reach the equipment on the top shelf by myself. Surely there's a better way. That's what they said about attacking Russia in the winter. But small minds always think alike. I'm gonna to have to have you help me frame a man, Linda. I wish it hadn't come to this, but they don't give the Nobel Prize to evil killers. Just ask Stephen Hawking. If only he hadn't put those ideas in your mind. He who? He me. Yes, I'm sorry, Linda, to put you in harm's way like this, but I knew if I pushed the professor here just a tad bit, he would have no choice but to try and make me his next guinea pig. The most mild of insinuations will always create an equal, yet opposite, overreaction. That's why it was so, so easy to record him. Very clever, Mr. Whoever You Are. Pardon me, Doctor Whoever You Are, please. Very clever, Doctor Whoever You Are. Most people wouldn't have figured me out that well. Most people don't have this kind of imagination. Harmony, the definition, is where the facts of a crime scene and my imagination converge. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna allow you to tell everybody about this. I'm afraid you have no means to stop me. I'll let gravity do my work. You're standing right in the pathway of another convergence. <laughs> I have you right where I want you. Gravity has always been a harsh mistress. In fact, I know her safely. Professor, would you do me one small favor and take a gander upwards? I call heads. <sighs> We'll be lucky if we get anything out of him. He might have permanent brain damage. Poetic justice. Yeah. Uh, what, that a, a man who focused his life on his intellect has now been deprived of it? No, that I got the idea from Jeff Poetry Jam, the episode where that rapper sang that song about Mary Todd Lincoln's bipolarism, remember? Wait here. Hey, you wanted to apologize for almost getting you killed. I promised myself I wasn't gonna do that anymore. You used me. This was all part of your plan, wasn't it? Get me to confront the professor so you could get a confession out of him. That's brilliant. That is totally way better than what I was gonna tell Lestrade. I'm gonna use that if, if you don't mind. I'm not mad. It saved my life and gave me the chance to pass off professor's work as my own. Whoever you are, you're not really Dr. Chase, are you? I don't know. Could be. I don't think you could be. You can dream about Abraham Lincoln on the National Mall all you want, but I don't think that's the real reason you do this. It's because I'm driven to this. I have to do this. It's one of the considerations I made with the deal with the devil when I killed my twin brother. Plus, Watson, this is sort of the only thing keeping him from actually killing himself, you know? But don't share that with anyone. It's sort of a private journal entry, apparently. Who's Watson? Good man. <laughs> 